Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. Now, I've had fun talking with some fabulous drag queens that you will find performing here in Key West. You might remember the woman behind me, Gassy Wins. She is pretty unforgettable. She's bold, loud, fun, full of passion and life. Well, this morning I'm going to talk with the man behind the makeup and the wig. JB, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you so much, Jenna, for having me. JB, I have mm -hmm. to say that I love you as Gassy, but I also love you just as JB. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I haven't done anything. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JB. What does JB do during his day? Well, JB basically, for the moment, is the general manager of Aqua Nightclub on Duval Street. Would you say JB mm -hmm. is a lot more shy than Gassy? Not so much shy, perhaps, but definitely as gassy, wearing the fat suit is almost like wearing a second suit of armor. So she gets away with a hell of a lot more than I do. <laughs> so would you say that gassy is kind of an escape then for you? Yes, uh, basically because I, I, there's so much I, more I can do with her. I, I live a simple life. I mean, I have two dogs. I, I enjoy going out, but I, I, I've stopped drinking. So I'm not really a partier like I used to be when I was younger. So yeah, when I put on the fat suit and an outrageous costume, it's just my excuse to kind of just be crazy. <laughs> well, I love it. And now, JB, mm -hmm. something I find interesting with you is you do a lot of acting. That's mm -hmm. your background. Mm -hmm. So you do do acting as yourself. Yes. You don't always wear the costume. No, no, no. Uh, well, <laughs> as an actor, you have to wear a costume eventually. But yes, no, my BFA is in musical theater from Syracuse back in 91. And did that in New York before I moved here to Key West in 07. And, but again, came here basically as Gassy and to work as Gassy. But I never worked as a drag queen professionally. It was just something I did as a hobby. So, and then Gassy basically took over my life. And there was the Waterfront Playhouse and the Red Barn that are here in Key West for theater opportunities, but my schedule as Gassy just didn't permit it. And it wasn't until uh, I did Dirty Rotten Scoundrels back in 2011, I want to say. Might have been 2010. Forgive me, Danny Weathers, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, finally there was, I had a break time where, and the theater here, because they take off for the summer, they auditioned the year beforehand. So I auditioned and got the show. So there was plenty of time to then work out my gassy schedule to actually go back to being JB on the stage. So, and that kind of got me back into the swing of things. And since then, I've been able to do a lot more performing as JB. Well, and you do a great job performing Thank as you. JB. Back to Gassy, though, for mm -hmm. a minute. Sure. When Gassy did take control of you, <laughs> when it was in full swing, yes. <laughs> what did your family and your friends to you being gassy? Well, well, that's an interesting question. Um, well, again, my mother had seen me in drag before, but again, just as a hobby. And my mother's always been very supportive of me in my career, and so again, looked at it more as just a performance outlet. So the fact that I was a man dressed as a woman, it would be like, well, I told most of my friends in New York and also my college graduate friends that being gassy was like doing the longest running production of La Cage aux Folles which is obviously just a Broadway musical that Jerry Herman wrote that's all about drag queens. So, and that just it wasn't a surprise to anyone. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, my, my, but my mother's been a great supporter of me. She's been down, actually, she has been mumsy wins on several occasions where I've gotten her dressed in drag to then add wig and the full makeup and whatnot, so. Oh, how fun is oh, that? Yes. So you have a little mother and mother and daughter performance. Exactly. <laughs> well, well, she's more the backstage person, but yes, but same thing. When you put her in, the, in, a, in a house coat and the big glasses and the beauty mark, yeah, she gets a little extroverted herself. That's great. So it's wonderful then to hear that you had a supportive mm -hmm. family and friends yes. surrounding you. Now, JB, it sounds like there are some similarities then with you and Gassy. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have any problem being full of energy and full of life as JB. Okay. Are there any other similarities? Any other similarities? Well, uh, we, well we both quit smoking recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we both used to smoke. Um, again, we're both just, it's fun. I, that's just, I, I've always been a person who just really enjoys having a good time and entertaining. And that is what made, is why it's so easy to be gassy. It's because it just, it, watching people and I make fun of myself, both as JB and as Gassy. So when people are there and they try to like throw barbs and whatnot at me, it's very much, okay, bring it on, because I'm already a parody of myself in the first place. So I can see, aside from that, um, we both need to lose some weight. Um, <laughs> we're both single, and both of us would love to not be single. Um, 
I think that pretty much covers <laughs> the basics. <laughs> and we obviously know there's a lot of differences. And as yes. JB, mm -hmm. how long does it take you to get ready? Um, I, well, I, I try to take a little more time. Well, I, get, I have hair that does absolutely <laughs> nothing, so that's the hardest part. But Gassy, again, it's 15 minutes in, five minutes out. So once the beauty mark and the lips are on, we're good to go. But <laughs> JB, I have to shower, and just once the hair decides what it wants to do, throw on some clothes, and I'm out the door. <laughs> well, there you go. And we can see you perform as JB. I know mm -hmm. you're very busy this upcoming season. It it has been crazy, yes. Um, basically, because uh, equally as JB, at, at Aqua as GM, I do some other stuff. Um, we are getting, doing, ugh, think, breathe, speak. I'm a little nervous. See, I'm not gassy today. I'm nervous. <laughs> um, we're doing Aqua Idol, which we've done several years uh, at Aqua. And we're doing it currently for the King and Queen of Fantasy Fest candidates. So we have our fun alley, which is tonight at 6.30 at the bar. Uh, we've raised $12,000 to date. And we're hoping to raise 20000 which we raised last year. So please come out tonight if you're in Key West this evening. Um, and that's this Tuesday. And then following Tuesday, we start a new round for the Gay Straight Alliance students of Key West High School through the Key West Business Guild uh, Scholarship Fund. And then I will be hosting Coronation for the King and Queen of Fantasy Fest candidates. That's at Southernmost Beach Cafe on Friday night, uh, starting at 6. Tickets are still available. You can go to the AIDS Help website, aidshelps.cc, for that. Then in November, I will be doing the opening concert for the Waterfront Playhouse, which is all the music, uh, Oscar-winning music. Uh, that's November 22nd and 23rd. And then December 22nd, a month later, I will be on the Tennessee Williams stage doing Jerry's Girls in Concert with Vince Zito and a, a, a group from the Key West Pops. Well, I look forward to seeing you in action, Thank JB. you. And thank you so much for coming on the show without the makeup, without the wig, <laughs> and just being yourself. That was fun. Thank you so much, Jennifer, <laughs> for having me. All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now. There's much more to come this morning. Stay with me.